Hey guys, what's up? This is going to be my video showing you how to jailbreak iOS 5.1 on the iPhone 4, the iPad Touch 4G, the iPhone 3GS, and the iPad 1. Now those are the devices that this jailbreak is compatible with, and the process will be through Red Snow. Now this is a tethered jailbreak, so anytime your device runs out of battery or you power off your device, you will have to boot tethered in Red Snow, which I also will be showing you in this video. Now before I start this tutorial, there are some requirements. Now the first requirement is that you uh, should back up your device through iCloud or through iTunes, however you want to back it up. And then after you do that, you're just going to go ahead and update to 5.1 uh, if you want to have the new features of 5.1. If you're already jailbroken on iOS 5 or 5.0.1, uh, there's no reason to a jailbreak since those jailbreaks are already untethered and this jailbreak is tethered. So the first thing that you're going to do is go ahead and download Red Snow from the link in the description down below and once you do that you're just going to go ahead and open up Red Snow. Now once you open up Red Snow what you'll do is go into jailbreak and then it will say please make sure your device is both off and plugged in before you do this jailbreak and once your device is both off and plugged in uh, you will have to go through DFU mode. Now if you don't know what DFU mode here is basically what you have to do. You will have to hold down the power button uh, for three seconds and then after that you're gonna have to hold down the power button and the home button uh, for around 10 seconds and once that is done you're gonna have to hold down the home button and you're just gonna have to keep holding down the home button. So now once that is done your device should be uh, jailbreaking and once your device jailbreaks all you'll have to do is go back and then you're gonna have to go into extras and then you'll find just boot and this is where you'll be able to just boot tethered but once you jailbreak your device your Cydia will be a white icon uh, and you won't be able to open up Cydia so you'll have to just boot tethered first uh, after your device is jailbroken and then once it's boot tethered uh, you can just go ahead and then let the process go along So thank you for watching this video on how to jailbreak 5.1 on your iPhone 4, your iPhone 3GS, or the iPod Touch 4G. Please be sure to subscribe, please like this video. Please be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash advocatix and at reply me for any jailbreak related questions and I'll be sure to answer them. And also feel free to iMessage me at advocatixyt at me.com uh, and I will provide jailbreak help if needed. And also feel free to like my Facebook fan page and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching.